We're live here at Fort Hamilton with an interview with Dr. Maria Seaman. And my topic, I, I put it as, why is the church silent? Today is a, a day that brings um, a parade. Uh, three years ago, they had another parade, the Pride Parade, they called it. The Pride Parade, and the church has been silent. An explanation? I'll tell you what, um, Trevor. Anytime a people are comfortable, and I'm talking specifically about the church, why do we need to get out and do anything? We're comfortable in our four walls. Um, our congregation's fine. We stopped the bill, it turned around, you know. There's no same-sex marriage. Listen, one of the things that I said when that bill was turned back, you know, um, the Privy Council, I said, don't rejoice, because they are planning, all right? It does not take a bill or a law to be stopped, to stop the plans of the enemy. All they're going to do is, and listen to me, come in like a flood. That's all. That bill does not say they cannot do what they're doing today. And so therefore, their aim and goal is to so normalize it that it becomes acceptable, bill or no bill. And the travesty is that those with the voices who have been given godly authority to have a voice to speak to the land have become silent. Now some are going to say, no, pastor, we're praying. No, my pastor's speaking about it right, right in church. I'm going to tell you that if we study our holy word, when we study, no back, if we study our word, we will find out that prophets of the land were known as prophets because they went to where the people were and they made themselves known. Listen to me. Prophets were hated, persecuted. People couldn't stand them, just wanted to rip, rip them apart. That's not what we see happening today. We've got more prophets in this island of Bermuda, more bishops and all this. Yet I'm saying we're, they're not. They've got manly titles, man titles, but they're not walking in the godly authority. And it's a travesty because God makes sure that in every land that the, his presence is there to be heard, to be felt, to be hated. So that what? We are known. But who's speaking up? You know, people talk against female pastors, but who's speaking up? You know, uh, people with grandiose places, but who's speaking up? We're safe. And while we party, they plan. We sleep, they're up making plans. So it is a kingdom crime that there is total silence on this matter in the island of Bermuda. Some churches could have planned something. And somebody say, well, well Seaman, what about you? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm doing. I, I said, if they call upon me, no matter what, I'm home caring mom. But thank God the timing. I said, let me get out of here real quick and then I'll get back to mom, doing what I can do. Where are the men? Where are the voices? Where are those that are deemed bishops of Bermuda? Why are we not protecting our children? Our children are growing up, not even believing in God because the church is quiet. The squeaky wheel gets the attention. These people are squeaking. They're making noise. So therefore the spotlight's on them and the attention. Now the spotlight's gonna be on me, they're gonna hate me. Even church people are gonna hate me, why? Because they can't love Pastor Maria Seaman and sit under their own pastor, bishop, prophet, prophetess, who's doing nothing and be justified. So the easiest thing to do is hate me. I don't have a problem with that. My hands will be clean. The generations to come will know that there was a pastor named Pastor Maria Seaman that spoke up. I was there with Reverend Goodwin C. Smith when I was a teenager, right? John Stubbs Bill. I walked. I was the one. 
to God be the glory that began the noise. And then here comes preserve marriage. So I, I'm, I'm going to keep on speaking. I believe in marriage. I believe this community needs to be protected, needs to be protected from the agenda. Let me tell you the big agenda. This island, people don't want Bermudians in it. They want to take over Bermuda. They want to be able to control Bermuda financially. And the sick thing is, is that we have leaders, I believe, with all my heart, who would sell Bermuda, Donna Creek, morally, spiritually, for finances. And until we deal with the grassroots issue of the morality, children, our blacks, black lives matter, really? Our own killing our own. Children not going to Sunday school, but going to football clubs, practicing on a Sunday morning. We, we can change it. We've just got to change. But woe unto the shepherds. Why are you a shepherd? To protect the flock. There are some flock out there. They don't know their flock yet. They don't know their sheep that need to come into the kingdom. They don't know that God loves them. I was talking to someone in the UK um, their time, two, three o'clock in the morning. She said, pastor, they don't even believe in, they believe they came from a sow. The 68 in Bermuda. Why? How would somebody believe they come from a sow? That change. All of a sudden, the sow's not changing anymore. Why? Because they don't hear enough of God's voice coming from the church, coming from the shepherds of the church. Go, go. That's the Great Commission. Don't stay and pray and think you're doing the Great Commission. You're doing something great, but it's not the Great Commission. All right? Talk to your congregation. Yep, do that. I, I'm doing them both. But off of that, my congregation needs to know there are certain places you don't go, certain things you don't do. Why? Because you represent the kingdom. And the only way that they're going to know that the kingdom is real is if they see you and you're not doing what the world is doing. Come ye out from among them. Come, come out. You're in the world, but you're not of the world. Pastors, male pastors, prophets and all those big time people, they could arrange something. How we have a man, Don, greeting people yesterday morning. Should have been another man saying, brother, we care for, we, we love you. I don't know what went wrong or I do know what went wrong. Forgive us and come to Jesus. Don't dress up like a woman. But no, we just let it happen. So, you know, churches need to church. Church needs to church. Sinners are doing what sinners are doing. They're doing it effectively. That's what they're supposed to do. However, the church, she is not. She's a sleeping giant. You know, I thought about this fort here where you have us meeting. I said, you know, this is the church. We're supposed to be overlooking the city, keeping guard, saying, wait a minute, the enemy is coming up on this side. The enemy is coming this side. And then we decide what to do. But if our voices are not even heard, Trevor, that's the point that blows me away. How, and you're going to get in church and be comfortable without saying anything about this massive abuse of the morality of who Bermuda is? We've become so worldly in the church and out of the church. Can't tell the difference. Just yesterday, social media was about um, why the church is so silent. How do you awaken the church? Well, this, this is one of the awakening buttons here. You know, and listen. If congregants, the people that sit in the church, if you accept that your shepherd says nothing, we're going to get nothing. Nothing from nothing is nothing. And I always challenge people. You, people come inbox me or whatnot. I'm like, but you sit there every Sunday. So that means you're approving. Pastor and her husband got a mortgage. Church ain't paying it. So I don't want to hear that I'm taking people's money. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. So let's stop with the excuses. This pastor is doing what she's called to do. And I want to know when the people of God are going to do the same, especially the leaders. And if your leader's not doing it and you're satisfied and staying, staying there, you're as guilty as them. We see the male seed worldwide yeah. and in Bermuda as being eliminated. <laughs> mm, yeah. How, how do we? How do we do? How do we stop this? Well, well Trevor, you got to show up for your children, with the mama or not. You're, if you're not with the mama, the boy child needs to see you still protect him. You still protect that family unit he's a part of. You still give financially. You have to step up. I get it that marriages don't work, relationships don't work, but you got to work at being a father. If not, mothers take over. And you know what we create? Mama's boys. Weak. Sissified.
because they're lacking. It starts from the father. Then the mother. Now we got mothers going haywire because the enemy just goes in deeper and deeper and deeper. Now the children are homosexuality raging in high school. Not because they're that way, they're just looking for love. Remember when we used to say looking for love in all the wrong places? Well, the places have increased. And the place is called now the bed of sodomy, the bed of homosexuality, lesbianism. Is it because they're that way? No. Because they're missing something. And I need people to understand, you're missing? They haven't been, even been in church. Come to Shekinah. Men need to take the rightful place. Of course. My name is Mrs. Seaman. He ain't named Mr. Russell. I left him. And therefore, I expect coverage. Hello? And children need to be covered. Children are uncovered. And so they're open to all types of babysitters, friends, bullies. and oh, got bullying. Harbonite, bullying. Where is, where's the parents? Other leaders of the country made contact with, I'll, I'll, I'll use yourself, uh, even if it's just prayer or advice or spiritual advice. You know, it's nothing that I haven't said before. We've got to, well, get the balls and do some things. For example, we know children need a moral compass. They need a base. Let's speak to the clubs. Let them go Sunday school. Let them go church. Come on, let's put it in order. We're not going to have practice. Balance. Balance? More than, it's so going the other way. We've got to come with something heavy. But hey, listen, as long as people are making money up the top and business are coming in, sounds great to me. Why are we going to be bothered with it? Do we really care? about the little ones? Do we really care about the children and what they're going to have in Bermuda? Families are struggling. That's why they're leaving. Can't make it in the homeland, but everybody can come in and make it. What? Something wrong with that. So we've got to implement some things. This is grassroots. Come on, Progressive Labor Party. This is grassroots. Our children. Not putting bottles and partying and, and, and giving goslings and light on air. No, no, get grassroots. The children need a home. They need coverage. They need Jesus. They need Jesus. If given the opportunity to speak to our leaders, what would you say? God has put you in place. Now do what God would have you to do. Now you just leave that sentence right there. That means I got to reach out to the right people to get some advice. <laughs> to get some serious advice. We're not fighting little demons. We're fighting some evil spirits. And if we want to keep on playing patty cakes, have little meetings, have little retreats, that's all delay tactics. Let's put something in gear. Let's say to high school, the first student that bullies somebody, you're suspended. First student selling weed on the school property, uh, fighting somebody, your parents are going to court. If we don't make a stand, the standard continues to decrease. We don't want serious. We want to pacify from year to year, change the system. Why private school systems stay the same? We got to change, but we're having the issue. Stop trying to put band-aids on uh, uh, situations that require major, major surgery, preventative surgery, st or stop the bleeding surgery. Somebody's got to get passionate about the children, not about, not about money. Lastly, wouldn't you agree Bermuda is in a crisis at present? with uh, a lot of situations we're dealing with finance, murder, um, the standard of, of, of living, uh, the cost of food, the cost of electricity. I saw just this morning on, on, on um, social media where uh, an individual said $300 a rise in one of those little cues that they put in there that, that she has to pay. Uh, paying six, $700 where she was paying three let me tell you something. The lust for money is the root of all evil. And I'm looking at grocery stores. I know anybody else is. Everybody's building warehouses. I want you to check it out. They're not suffering. Money begets money, right? And because our focus, don't miss this people of Bermuda. I'm telling you something, this is a catch this moment. Because our focus has been money, we're looking at the money begets money. I'm telling you, that with all of the money in Bermuda, that more important, valuable, more wealthier than the money is a relationship with God. God can handle the rest of it, but we've lost our touch point with God, and therefore we're now looking for man, mammon. They're not gonna care about you. 
Who cares? Jesus cares. Hey. Jesus cares. People reach out. Can you give this? I said, none of my people that are members that are members of Shekinah are starving. Oh, no, 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 no. You see, that's why the church was created. People leave the church. Now you ask the church for these. No, no, come back home. Come back to the church. God's plan works if you work it. But you got to decide to return to it. Don't forget the old landmarks. Get back to what made Bermuda great. When she was great, what was she doing? She wasn't perfect, but what was she doing more of? What did our children know more of? Until we do that, we're, it's insanity. It's insanity. You know, we're going to keep on having, um, you know, systems to keep our house safe and, and soon be bars and the rest of it because they're going to turn in on us, you see? Watch it now. Let's get back to the basics. It's not that difficult. It's not too late. No, it's not. What? Come Absolutely. <laughs> Come on. Come on up in here. Listen, as long as there are righteous in the land, I believe there are righteous from uh, Dockyard to, to St. David's, my God. And I believe that there are more than 20. This island will survive. The voice of God through Pastor Maria and others will be heard. Come on, somebody. Uh, you know you know how it was, Abraham. For, for how many will God spare? We got them. We, got, we have them. Yet. There are too many who are losing their lives and losing their souls eternally to hell because they have not been introduced to Jesus. So we have to keep on fighting a good fight. If we're not fighting, we're not in it. It's, we're not in a good fight. It's a battle. That's what I know. Pastor, bless you for taking time out. I appreciate you Always. answering my call. Amen. Any last words? Uh, Pastor, Pastor Seaman loves you with the love of the Lord. God's pure agape love. And listen, let me add this. We're praying for the folks, all sinners, but because it's a highlighted thing, we're remembering these people. God loves them. Somebody needs to hear that. I don't know what went wrong in anybody's life, but I know what can go right. And so as much as we deal with sin, we are praying for the sinner, every sinner, the, the gambler, uh, the thief, the murderer, those that are coming against laws of morality that are written in God's word. We're, we're praying for you because we want you to go to heaven. It appears that, the, that, that most of um, those that don't go to church on a regular feel it's a, it's a, it's a Christian against, against them. It's, that's not the way you see it. Nah, nah, that's how the enemy does it. It's an easy escape. Oh, those people, oh, the Christians, please. <laughs> I, 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 throughout my 15 years of pastoring, I've had two lesbians join the church. Well, for, they became former lesbians. You know, they went back out. Point is, they didn't see any fear. They were welcome, because that's just the type of person I am. But I love people so much, relatives who are that way and not. I love them so much, I'm going to keep speaking the truth. What I want to do is say nothing and just let them go to hell? Well, that's not going to work out too well. You got to speak it. Bless you. Thank you. You're welcome. Blessings abound. Blessings abound.